Hey, you guys, it's your girl, Tisa. I want to come on here and talk about the whole Chris Brown situation, honey. Make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. How you doing? So anyway, so what's going down is that basically this all takes place a few weeks ago, okay? Now, you guys all remember when Kalani was going through everything and she was saying that she was going to kill herself because she was getting drugged about the whole Kyrie Irving situation. And then we all know that Kyrie Irving and Chris Brown are like best friends. They're always together. So Chris Brown wanted to have Kyrie Irving's back and, and basically called Kalani a liar. And he was saying that, you know, she did not attempt suicide. How do you attempt suicide? And basically kind of went in on her. And so when his tweets went viral, a lot of folks were really upset with Chris Brown. Um, Zendaya unfollowed him. Some of the girls from Fifth Harmony unfollowed him. And so did Tinashe. So they all unfollowed him. Chris Brown would not have known anything about him being unfollowed had his fans had Team Breezy not instigated, okay? So one Twitter user added Chris Brown and let him know that these girls had unfollowed him. So then Chris Brown went off on a Twitter rant and basically started going off on Zendaya and Tinashe. And then Team Breezy started trolling them. And Zendaya had to kind of clap back and it was just a whole bunch of mess, okay? So that situation had died down, but now Tanache is doing an interview um, with Shay Diddy. And she was basically asked what she thought about the whole Chris Brown situation. This is what Tanache had to say about the entire situation. Check this out. Now, speaking of just recent things and drama, whatever, whatnot, are you and Chris Brown friends? We are. Well, we were. Yeah, we are. Yeah. She's like, yeah, we are. Because so when I mean friends, like. Because you guys have worked in a, together. the loose sense of what you would consider friends, At least associates. Yeah. You yes. speak when you see each other, whatever, yeah. whatnot. Yeah. So when they people assume that those are tweets were about you yeah. and uh, my girl Zendaya. Yeah. When he was just like, F it, you need <laughs> me, blah, 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 blah. Like, yeah. what was your reaction to that? I just kind of laughed it off. Really? I felt like it was just so unnecessary. And I, like, I was just like, what? Whatever. I don't feel like you're the type of person that vents anything on Twitter or just takes the social media. Like you just. No. Why? That's just so unnecessary. So did you ever call him or just like, yo, what's no. going on? No. 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 It's not even worth it. It's not a big deal to me. Like I don't think that follows on Twitter are like a big deal. So yeah. Well, that's you know. just me. I know. Hey, if I see him, I would love to speak to him. I would love if he would reach out. I'd, I mean, I have absolutely nothing against him. So, of course, I mean, we're on good terms. <laughs> I mean, as far as I knew. So, yeah. When All right, so you guys just saw what she had to say. So, once her interview went viral, Chris Brown went off on social media, called her an ugly hobbit, you know, started going off on her. This whole situation is a hot damn mess. So a few people want to know my pins on this. You know, Chris Brown is saying that all these women needed his help. They all needed him to, you know, get their foot in the game and all this other stuff. But it's funny that all of a sudden he's calling her an ugly face hobbit, but she wasn't ugly when he was in her music video all up in her face and dancing with her and everything. And you guys seem to have really good chemistry on set. And how do I know that? Because one of my peoples was the videographer on that set that day. And they're the ones who filmed that whole dance sequence with Chris Brown and um, Tanache. And they even said that their chemistry was on point. You know, they had a really good time filming them. So I just find it really, really sad that Chris Brown would go in on her looks and try and talk about her when she was asked a question and she really didn't even diss him. You know what I'm saying? She just stated her opinion. The thing is, this woman did not do anything to him. She unfollowed him, okay? And she has every right to follow or unfollow anyone that she chooses. The same thing, like I said in my LeBron James video, when he unfollowed the Cleveland Cavaliers. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, he has a right to follow them or unfollow them. I don't 
understand why people get in their feelings. Chris Brown has millions of people following him, but you're mad because four people decide to unfollow you. It should not be that big a deal. If you're not pressed, then why are you going in on them? Why are you trolling them? Why are your fans trolling them? Chris Brown is continuously allowing his fans to gas his head up when he needs to be focused on the big picture, which is raising his daughter and focusing on his music career. He should not have let any of that petty stuff get to him. I find it funny how people always say that people are entitled to their opinion, but people are only entitled to their opinion if you agree with that opinion. The second that they say something that you don't agree with, now this on their hobbits, they're ugly, they're not shit. You know, I just find that really disheartening that he would go in on her for simply stating her opinion, especially since he's over here stating his opinion about the entire situation. So let me get this right. It's only okay for Chris Brown to state his opinion, to state how he feels, but then when other people state that, you know what, I don't agree with your opinions, so I'm gonna unfollow you, now he's upset, now he's in his feelings. That just doesn't make any sense. At the end of the day, she has a right to follow or unfollow anybody that she wants to, and she has a right to respond to how Chris Brown basically berated her and Zendaya on social media. And I think some of his fans need to calm down a bit, constantly instigating and constantly getting this man riled up over the pettiest stuff. You know, I just want Chris Brown to focus on the music, make good music, continue to make us sing and dance. You know what I mean? Leave people alone. Stop harassing folks for something as petty as them not following you on social media. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation, honey. Once again, concerning Chris Brown and Tinashe and Chris Brown basically going in on her after her interview. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.